yeah, obviously uh, really pleasing to, to bounce back today with a victory. Um, maybe not our best performance out there, but as I say, it was really important that we, we found a way to, to get over the line and get the win. So I'm sure we'll take a lot of learnings and confidence from that win into tomorrow's game against Nepal. So what's your take on today's overall batting and bowling? Sorry? So what's your take on today's overall batting and bowling? Uh, I think, you know, with the batting, we we had a few a few good starts. Um, for me, it was really pleasing to see how some of the young players played today. Um, obviously, with Liam Naylor coming in for his first game, I thought the way he batted up top was really exciting to see. And Chris McBride and Tom McIntosh played really well as well. Um, I think it was just, unfortunately, not one of us that got in managed to go on and get a big score, which might have got us to that maybe 260, 270 um, to make things maybe a bit more comfortable in the second innings. But um, I think it's just going to be a case of us tomorrow executing well for a bit longer. And with the ball again, I think we showed there at times when we were disciplined, we, we created opportunities. Um, that's something the team's done really well in recent times. Um, so it's just going to have to, we just have to be disciplined for, for a bit longer in the game. What was your plan to stop Namibia after scoring 2 Well, I think it was obviously important that we're going to have to take wickets um, with not having a big score on the board. Um, but really it was just how we were going to do that and that was obviously trying to look, in, look into create pressure just by um, stopping them from, from scoring too quickly. Uh, obviously they got off to a, a pretty good start, they were in a strong position. But as I say, we managed to, to really fight and come back into the game. There was a couple of really good spells. Um, Towards the middle there, which just managed to get us that breakthrough that got us that got us back into the game. So you are playing uh, against the home side tomorrow. So you lost the first one. So what will be your target tomorrow? Yeah, look. Obviously, we're expecting a, another tough game tomorrow. Um, Nepal will be very confident after the the three wins after chasing down three good scores as well. Um, but as I say, for us, we've had three games out there now, so. It's just about us um, executing for longer, whether it's with bat and ball. Um, we know if we do that, we're going to give ourselves a good chance. Um, but we're not going to have to play well tomorrow because, as I say, Nepal are playing good cricket at the moment. And it sounds like there might be a, another big crowd in tomorrow, so that should be exciting as well and should be a, a good atmosphere. So do you feel the home uh, crowd will pressurise you and Epic Tony Games? No, look, I think the, the crowd the other day actually... Um, was great for the guys to experience. Um, I think it lifted everyone. I think that's as a cricketer, that's that's where you want to play. You want to be playing in in grounds that are full of supporters, um, especially with the passion that we saw um, from the Nepal fans. So I think that's something we'll look forward to tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get a few of them on our side. Um, but yeah, no, it's we'll look we'll look forward to hopefully a, a good crowd tomorrow. How much are you excited to lift the Champions Trophy for the series? Yeah, obviously we know uh, tomorrow is going to be a big game in the series uh, with Nepal having won the first three. Um, and again, that's what we set out to do before we, we came here. But as I said, we, we know it's going to be a tough game tomorrow. Um, but we'll certainly be going out there tomorrow to give it our all and hopefully we can find a way to get that win. Last game against Nepal, three of your main players, Orza, Munsi and Sarif, were listed. So what kind of a lineup can we expect tomorrow? Yeah, look, we'll have to wait and see. Um, obviously, we've made a few changes. There's been a couple of injuries as well, um, and it's given a couple of young guys an opportunity to come into the side. And as I said, I think they've they've handled themselves really well um, with the way they've approached and the way they've played the game. Um, we'll just have to see how guys pull up. Obviously, it's been another another tough day out there. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see what how the guys um, recover after the game, and then we'll we'll go from there. So, is there any probability of George Monsi playing tomorrow? Yeah, as I said, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Um, I've not had a chance to obviously speak to all the guys and see how guys have pulled up. Um, but it's, it's great that we've got guys like George that can come back into the team. Um, obviously, his last game he scored a hundred, so we're in, a, we're in a good position where we've got these options. So we'll see we'll see what tomorrow brings. You guys are already the league champions, so you have got nothing to lose. But Nepal have everything to play, play for. So how do you take this game? With Nepal have everything to play for, and we have nothing to lose. Uh, look, no, I think for us, obviously, we're delighted that we managed to to win the the league. Um, that was a goal we set out at the start as a team, but we're here to win every game of cricket that we play in. So tomorrow's a, 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 still a massive game for us. Um, obviously, we want to come here and try and win the series. Um, so tomorrow makes for an exciting fixture, as you said, with Nepal having to to look for another win. 
and we'll be we'll be looking to do the exact same. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.